पेटेंट ट्रेडमार्क कॉपीराइट ऑल आर कॉर्ड एज वॉर इन टैंजिबल इफ न्यू मशीनरी कम्स न्यू मशीनरी कम्स वॉट अबाउट द डिप्रिशिएशन यू हैव एलॉन्ग विद दट ट्वेंटी परसेंट एडिशनल डिप्रिशिएशन यू आर सपोज टू डू डबल डिप्रिशिएशन इफ यूर यूसेज इज लेस दैन सिक्स मंथ्स हाफ मोर दैन सिक्स मंथ्स फुल डिप्रिशिएशन A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing your session one, Unit One of Tax Management Two. In that, we are discussing the topic called depreciation. Now, depreciation it is nothing but reducing in the value of the asset, reducing in the sense decreasing. Now, just assume that you bought a vehicle for one lakh rupees. You bought a two-wheeler for one lakh rupees. After one year, if you want to sell the bike, can you sell the same bike for one lakh rupees? The answer is no. After two years, if you sell the same bike for one lakh rupees, is it possible? The answer is no. Even though at one lakh you bought, every year the value get decreased. What is the reason? The reason is very simple. You have used for one year, and the model of bike is one year older. And a purchase year and your selling year almost there is a difference. There may be chances of damage. There may be chances of fa fashion. Like whatever the fashion we had last year, now it is almost changed, and there is a updation because of all this reason. The value of the asset will get decrease. Now. There are two types of depreciation. Actually, two types in the sense. While doing accountancy, we have separate kind of depreciation. While doing your income tax, in that we we'll calculate one more type of depreciation. That is one more type means in the accountancy we consider every day. We get it into consider. But in income tax, there are only two. One is full depreciation, and the one is half depreciation. In accountancy, you have done depreciation for two months, depreciation for three months, depreciation for eight months. But in income tax, there is there is only two: full depreciation, half depreciation. If anything is used for more than six months, full depreciation. Anything is used for less than six months, we call it as half depreciation. Now. The agenda is very simple. We go with the concept as well as meaning of your depreciation. Now, your meaning of your depreciation in this, the term depreciation is derived from the Latin word depreciatum. Now, split into d and pretium. What is this? D means decline, and pretium means Price. Okay, you will not get anything like this in examination. They may ask you what are the causes for depreciation. Causes are very simple. What are the causes? The cause is usage, model. All this comes are damages. All are the causes for your depreciation or decrease in the value of asset. Now, so the literal meaning of depreciation is decrease in the value of the asset. True profit can be calculated only after charging depreciation of an. Asset only your profit can be calculated only after calculating your asset. Will not go in deep actually because you will get only direct problem on depreciation. Will work out problems on that. Depreciation rates. These are the rates actually in accountancy. What happens in the accountancy? They will give you ten percent, fifteen percent, thirty percent. But in income tax, they will not give you rate. We are only supposed to remember, but most of the question paper they have mentioned the rate. But compared to your accounting and your taxation, the rates are different. Now, in this, these are the percentage you are supposed to remember while calculating your depreciation. Residential building always five percent. Your building non-residential life. You have constructed a house and you are only staying there, or you have given for rent for family or somebody like. Other than your business purpose, then we call it as residential, and the rate of depreciation is five percent. Building ten percent, furniture and fitting ten percent, air conditioning ten percent, AC, air cooler, 
प्लांट एंड मशीनरी 15 परसेंट मोटर कार फिफ्टीन परसेंट पेटेंट ट्रेडमार्क कॉपीराइट ऑल आर कॉल्ड एस इन टैंजिबल असेट पेटेंट ट्रेडमार्क कॉपीराइट ऑल आर कॉल्ड एज वॉट इन टैंजिबल सो ट्वेंटी फाइव मोटर कार ऑन हायर थर्टी परसेंट कंप्यूटर फोर्टी परसेंट बुक्स हंड्रेड परसेंट इफ द बुक्स आर एनुअल पब्लिकेशन देन हंड्रेड परसेंट अदर बुक्स कम्स अंडर फोर्टी परसेंट एंड पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल इक्विपमेंट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट एनुअल सब्सक्रिप्शन इन द सेंस लाइक यू बाई सम बुक After one week, again you will not read. Every week you will get new books. Like any magazines, every one week you will get one magazine. When you are in the second week, you will not read the first week magazine. When you are in the second month, you will not read your first month magazine. The reason is those are annual publication. The lifespan of like newspaper. Are you interested in reading newspaper of five days before? Are you interested in reading newspaper of last week? The answer is no. Why? Because those are annual publication. The lifespan of those kind of books, those kind of newspaper, always less. That's why we go with hundred percent depreciation. Other books like your textbook, your BBA textbook. What happens? BBA textbook you have studied. Next year, your brother comes to BBA. The same textbook can be used by your brother also, unless and until your taxation few rates will change. But whatever your accountancy, whatever your other subject, management accounting and all, management accounting since twenty years the same syllabus. When I did my BCom, when I did my uh, graduation, the same syllabus. What you are studying, the same thing. You are also studying now. Whatever I studied, the same thing you are studying means almost ten to twelve years we have a same syllabus. So you can use the same book for more than ten years. So these are the reasons. The other than annual publication, the depreciation is less. That is forty percent. Pollution control equipment comes under hundred percent depreciation. Hope you are clear. Yes. So these are the depreciation rates we have. With the help of this, we'll solve one problem. So these are your question actually. So in this WDB of factory building, they have given. In this, always remember if opening balance is given, opening balance plus purchases minus sales. these are your format every asset you are supposed to check opening balance plus purchase minus sale whatever the left out on that you are supposed to calculate depreciation this is rule number 1 what is the rule number 2 if you find anywhere machinery if you find anywhere machinery if new machinery comes new machinery comes What about the depreciation you have along with that twenty percent additional depreciation you are supposed to do double depreciation. Whenever you are doing calculation on machinery, if it is a new machinery with the normal depreciation, you are supposed to go for additional depreciation. What is the percentage? Twenty percent. Hope you are clear. Yes. So these are all your calculation you are supposed to. Work out. So these are the two rules you are supposed to remember. First one is what? How to calculate depreciation? Opening plus purchase minus sales. Whatever you get on that depreciation. Rule number two: If there are any machinery sir, there not second hand or old. We are not calculating second hand or old. For that normal calculation, if New machinery comes. Then what we are supposed to do? Additional twenty percent we are supposed to do. Hope you are clear. Yes. WDB of factory building. New addition on above. See addition. What we are supposed to do? Add. WDB of office building. One four nineteen. And machinery we have new machinery purchase. New machinery. What we are supposed to do? Additional depreciation. Old machinery purchased, no additional because that is a second hand. Then sold off old machinery, furniture WDB, new addition, furniture. All the informations we have now. 
while calculating depreciation remember whether you are holding for more than 6 months or less than 6 months if it is less than 6 months you are supposed to calculate half depreciation half means if it is 20 percent make it half 10 percent if it is 30 percent make it half 15 percent half only you are, we are supposed to consider similarly if you are doing calculation like if we use for more than six months then you are supposed to calculate full depreciation hope you are clear yes now if you go for this calculation i'll go one by one first we go with the building next we'll go with the machinery then next we'll go with furniture total we have three things with us and we have to check the percentage also we cannot club 15 percent with 10 all are separate so these 10 percent we call it as one block your five mark important question block of asset what is block of asset your furniture is one block of asset machinery is one block of asset building comes under one block of asset hope you are clear yes now we'll go by one by one in this Block 1, we are talking about 10% and we are talking about building. Now, so first one is what? Factory building. How much it is? 80,000. Yes. What is the additions? We have 40. Addition is 40. 80 plus 40, how much it is? 1,20,000. On 1,20,000, what is the percentage? 10%. Calculate 10%, it will become. So 1,8,000 we got. This is called your value of building after depreciation now the same thing one more we have we'll calculate that so one lakh eight thousand we got what is the next one wdb of next year of office building one more building we have what is the price the price is fifty thousand now price is fifty thousand is there any additions no so what is the value fifty on the 10 percent how much 5 50 minus 5 it is 45 there are two buildings were there all the two buildings we calculated now we have done up to what up to we completed this this is called block one two buildings are over with the same percentage now in this what happened first building the depreciation value is 12. Second building depreciation value is 5. We are doing which unit? We are unit doing depreciation. How much you got depreciation that will go to outer column. That's it you are supposed to do. Once you are done with your building, what is the next procedure? Machinery. Your furniture we have. After furniture we have done machinery here. Furniture value is how much? 15. What is the purchases? 5. 15 plus 5, 20. Minus, what is the depreciation? See, in this what happens? Furniture value. Furniture is how much? Your furniture value is 15,000. Clear? Addition. When it is purchased? February 2019. Means, when is the year ending? March 31st. How many months you used? 1st February, February complete month, March complete month, your year ended. How many months you have used? Only 2 months. What is the rule? If it is less than 6 months, half depreciation. How many months we got? 2. 2 is what? Less than 6 months. So we are supposed to calculate only half depreciation. Remember, for 15,000, full depreciation. For 5,000, half depreciation that's it we have to concentrate date clearly now furniture 15 plus 5 20,000 depreciation 15,000 into 10 percent 15,000 into 10 percent with 50 percent 50 means what half clear so if you calculate you will get 1500 and 250 final answer 18,250 what is the outer column this plus this, 1750. Furniture also clear. What is the last one? The last one we call it as machinery. Machinery 1 lakh is the opening as per the question. Purchases 60,000. Yes. 
one more purchase second hand yes total is 210000 for 210000 what happens purchase of machinery it is okay then sale of machinery 40 210 minus 40 how much 170 out of 170 out of 170 we have a new machine also what is the new machine this 50000 belongs to new machine this 50,000 belongs to new machine. Now, whatever 170 you have, remember 50,000 is new machine. Balance 120 old. Yeah, we have to do this bifurcation. Why? Because, why? Because 120,000 into 15 percent and 50,000 into 50% 50 into 15%. Why, why this changes means we have used only half year. So I'll show you the date. As per the question, this 11th you have purchased. 11th you have purchased means which one? Old machinery you have purchased. Now, 11th you have purchased means what? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, up to March. Oh, you have used only five months. How many months you have used? Five months. You are supposed to calculate depreciation only for five months. Now, five means in the sense half depreciation. So, one lakh twenty thousand into fifteen percent, fifty thousand into fifteen percent, along with fifty percent depreciation. If you calculate, you will get. 18,000 and 3,750, the total is 21,750, but one more depreciation is there. What is the one more? The additional depreciation, as I told you, any new machinery purchased two times, 20%, 60,000 into 20%, 12,000, total 12. So final answer is what? This is also minus, this is also minus, this is also minus, clear? So just by looking at this, you will not understand. Please work out once. Remember the concept. If any new machinery comes, you're supposed to calculate twice, two times depreciation. If the old machinery, only one time. But you're supposed to check the date. If your usage is less than six months, half. More than six months, full depreciation. Now, we have calculated everything. All the depreciation goes out of column. Your final answer is like 12,000 plus 5,000 plus 1,750 plus 21,750 plus 12. Your final answer is 52,500. Hope you are clear. Good. So I'll go back to all your previous slides so that you can take screenshot. Later, I'll wind up this session. This is the meaning of your depreciation. Your depreciation rates. Your problem number one, solution. Problem number one, solution. Problem number one, solution. And problem number one, solution. So your question, make it as into three categories. One is for building, one is for furniture, one is for machinery. Work out one by one, then only you will understand better. In the next session, we'll go with another two to three problems so that we can wind up your depreciation unit as early as possible. Thank you.